Welcome to Sunday School. We are glad you are here. We can't be together at church, so we are glad you're joining us for Sunday School at home. Come on in. And find a comfortable seat to hear the story of Palm Sunday. We can't be in our church building today, but we can still hear the stories of God together. We love you and we miss you. We are still the church. We are still family. We are also still in the season of Lent when we are waiting for Easter. I'm wearing my purple today, and purple is the color for Lent. Let's be together now to hear one of God's stories. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. <clears throat> Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. When we sing these words, we know that it's time to hear God's story. Today, our story is about Jesus the King in his triumphal entry into Jerusalem. This is the season of Lent, the time we get ready to celebrate the great mystery of Easter, the time when we are all on our way to Jerusalem. But who will show us the way? Jesus will show us the way. Once every year, the people of God go up to Jerusalem to celebrate the great feast of Passover, to remember how God led them through the waters to freedom. This year, as Jesus traveled to Jerusalem, people hoped he would be their king when they heard Jesus was near Jerusalem. They ran to him and they shouted, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And they put their cloaks and their palm branches on the road to welcome him. Hosanna in the highest, they shouted. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. I wonder how Jesus felt as the people were shouting, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. 
wonder how he felt when they said they wanted him to be their king. I wonder who these people were who were shouting to Jesus and who were putting their cloaks down on the road. I wonder why Jesus rode on a donkey instead of on a horse. I wonder what kind of king Jesus would be. And I wonder what it would be like to live in a place where Jesus is the king. We light the Christ candle to remind us that Christ is with us as we hear the stories of God. The story that we heard today about Jesus the King and Jesus entering into Jerusalem on Palm Sunday is in the Bible. Today we're reading it from the Gospel of Luke, that's in the New Testament, chapter 19, verses 28 to 38. After Jesus had said this, he went on ahead going up to Jerusalem. As he ap approached Bethphage and Bethany at the hill called the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples, saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you. And as you enter it, you will find a colt tied there, which no one has ever ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you, why are you untying it? Tell them, the Lord needs it. Those who were sent ahead went and found it, just as he had told them. As they were untying the colt, its owners asked them, why are you untying the colt? And they said to him, the Lord needs it. They brought it to Jesus, threw their cloaks on the colt, and put Jesus on it. As he went along, people spread their cloaks on the road. When he came near the place where the road goes down the Mount of Olives, the whole crowd of disciples began joyfully to praise God in loud voices for all the miracles they had seen. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. And now let us pray for a little while to give our thanks to God. Thank you, God, for this time together, even though we cannot be in the same room together. We thank you for your stories of Jesus, for the gift of life. We thank you for one another, for our families at home, for our church family. We pray for those who are sick now. We pray for people all around the world. We ask for your healing, for your peace, for your presence and your comfort. Thank you, God, for your many good gifts. In Jesus' name, amen. And now, the light of Christ that was in one place can now be in many places all at the same time. Go now in peace, go now in peace, May the love of God surround you everywhere, everywhere you may go. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. Amen. What did the mother tiger say to her cubs before dinner? I don't know. What did she say? Shall we pray? Very nice. Go look my bucket with the George once again. Uh, poor dog. Wow, guys. That's a really nice puzzle. How long did it take you? Two weeks. Two weeks, and how many pieces is it? A thousand. We have lots of free time right now. What kind of lights does Noah use on his ark? I don't know. What kind? Flood lights! <laughs> <laughs>
Mosanna. Hosanna. It's Mosanna. <laughs> it's Hosanna. <laughs> what language does a billboard speak? I don't know. What it's language? Sign language, dude. <laughs> Okay, what do you have to say? Happy Palm Sunday. Happy Palm Sunday. Happy Sunday. Happy Palm Sunday. We, miss. we miss you. No.